Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The development of emerging technologies coupled with miniaturization of components has resulted in exponential proliferation of hostile aerial targets with low radar cross section like drones, UAVs, UCAVs and RPAs especially along the northern border of India. The artificial intelligence softwares and algorithms have further enhanced the lethality of these miniaturized aerial platforms by providing options of individual or swan drone attacks or incursions with multiple payloads for surveillance as well as for destruction. Now these low cost aerial platforms provide cheaper and more flexible options than high maintenance aircrafts to target own assets. In particular, the swarm of drones configuration poses a caliber asymmetric threat to all assets deployed in the tactical battle area. These may be employed against armored or mechanized concentration gun areas, logistic achalians, vehicle columns, deployed headquarters and various other tactical targets including troops in open. The swarm of drones capability with over 3000 individual drones has been displayed. The drones are now combatized to deliver a destructive payload on the integrated targets while they continue to be used extensively for surveillance purpose. However, the swarm of drones threat has inherent structural vulnerabilities and can be countered with an integrated and cohesive response. Therefore, there is an urgent requirement of developing and procuring weapon system for countering and neutralizing this emerging threat of swan drones. In the lights of the same, Indian Army has asked for 48 vehicle mounted counter swan drone system, which has been granted acceptance in principle in September 2022 under the Make 2 category. In November 2022, a report was published by Forbes India featuring the Solar Industries Chairman S.N. Nuval. The article has touched upon various products being developed by Solar Industry and one such product which sounds very interesting is Bhargavastri. S.N. Nuval has said that his firm has been granted permission to manufacture the hard kill measure integrated with laser as well as missiles to neutralize the UAVs. The company has already tested the mechanism and once developed, it will be quite effective against the Swan drone attack. As per SN Nuval, the system will be completely ready in next two years. This system can be deployed on a stationary as well as mobile platform covering the various aspects of threat environment. Now talking about Bhargavastra, it is a counter UAV system mounted on a 4x4 vehicle. The most important component of counter drone system is going to be accurate situational awareness which allows for quick coordination and effective responses to rapidly changing operational scenario. Now this becomes even more critical when dealing with swarm drones because they are huge in numbers and can come from multiple directions. Therefore, Bhargavast features C4i that is computers, communication, intelligence and command and control system. The C4i system is not just one system but consists of multiple systems such as command and control center, radar, electrical optical and IR sensor, artificial intelligence, launchers with missiles, countermeasures and data link. This system uses both that is radar and electro optical sensor to detect the swan drones. It features four radars placed at 90 degrees thereby providing 360 degree of coverage. It has a very good detection range. It can detect a 0.01 meter square RCS target from a distance of 5 km or more. The system takes less than 16 seconds from detection to respond and intercept. It can simultaneously engage 64 targets. The system uses micro missile as a hard kill measure to intercept the incoming drones. It has 64 micro missiles in ready to fire condition which can be launched in different directions. These missiles are even capable of lock on after launch and can home on to the target. It can destroy up to 16 drones 
in 7 seconds. The multiple missiles can be launched in an interval of just 1 second which makes it a perfect solution for handling the swan drone attack. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.